The one thing we knew about the orchard was private land close by both sides of the parkway. We thought about it in terms of, you know, if we don't show an interest in this and see if we could purchase it, a decade from now, what's it going to look like? And when I say us and our, I'm including Sister Kit, who was the person who actually bought it. We called the number in the paper, and we were able to buy the, the farm. I decided that this needed to be a nonprofit, a 501c3 public charity, preserving the history, heritage, and culture of this place. And we want to make sure that the things that we are preserving are supported by the people of the community. The Conservation Trust got interested and virtually everything you can see now from the orchard is now preserved forever, will never be developed. When we got the funds from the Conservation Trust and others and started looking for a banker to take care of it, we were greatly impressed by the Community Foundation's banking experience. I have felt very comfortable with the working relationship. A big piece of it has been the knowledge that no matter what happens with us, a similar use will be put to the money that we've raised. This is marvelous and it's unparalleled uh, success here in terms of preserving this much land uh, and saving this view. But really, the thing that moves us is what happens with people in the course of their participation in what we do.